Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of May 23rd through May 30th for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to you. Um, for those of you that are celebrating this week, it's going to be a fun season. Love Gemini season. Um, always look forward to it. It's vibrant. It's energetic and just a fun time. I think I've mentioned this before. I had several Geminis in my family, including one of my grandparents, my dad, and my aunt. So <laughs> lots of fun there. But anyway, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to you. I post new readings Friday and Monday. So if the reading doesn't resonate, check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Check a different part of your chart or even look around on Mondays because the format's different every Monday. It's a different style of reading. And thanks to you guys who have subscribed and watched the readings regularly. And of course, hit that like button. I always appreciate it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us so you'll know what any new announcements are made on the channel. All right. What advice do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages do you have for Gemini, please? Okay. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers, too. All right, you've got the Six of Swords, the Emperor, the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands. The Seven of Swords, haven't seen that, and that's interesting because you've got the Six and Seven right on top of each other. The Ten of Cups, Justice, oops there, and the Wheel of Fortune. Woo, this is exciting. Beautiful reading. Well, I honestly, when I saw Justice after the Seven of Swords, if somebody screwed you over, or I, I just feel like there's somebody that's going to get edged out. And um, if they did something wrong to you, you're going to see how the universe will, will return that to them. You're going to see them manifest what they are. Okay. I do feel like they get excluded from something. If it, there's like a group that wants to go out and have a drink for your birthday or people are celebrating you or that you're just getting attention for some reason. Um, I do feel like they're envious and they're going to get edged out. They keep saying edged out. So with this, you have Aries, you have Libra, you have water, air, and fire. Okay. And you've got all the fixed signs there too. So the six of swords has you moving forward. It could be a card of travel for some of you, especially with the wheel of fortune being here. So if you are, you know, planning a little birthday getaway or you have a, I see somebody that's got like a lake house or their family has a lake house or visiting one. Um, I do see it as being very serene, a very tranquil, I get on Golden Pond, that kind of energy. Um, but with this, you're moving forward in a way that's very steady. It's very stable. And I do feel like too, you have people around you, especially if it's something work related to give you guidance. You know, it's not like you're all by yourself here. All right. So, um, I very much like to see, I mean, you got three major arcana here, but I like to see too the softness of this 10 of cups. You've got the emperor showing up in the wheel of fortune. You can't be more blessed really in terms of confidence, making things happen and they're sustainable. It's not like force manifesting. It's like in a way that's got a lot of confidence and it comes from that soul level. So the emperor is wealth, it's prestige, it's, a, like I said, confidence, but he's also the architect of the universe. So for some of you, it's, I hear, design for living. Whatever that is, if you are a designer, it's literal, um, you're definitely going to be getting a lot of clients. Or if you have some kind of a side thing you're trying to do with that, it's going to bring in money. It has something to do with money, they keep saying, but with the emperor... It's a card of also protection around you. So I feel like whoever that Seven of Swords is, um, I, people do not want them around you for some reason. And I, they don't, if there's gossip, because it feels kind of like gossip, slander kind of stuff. I don't want to get you too worked up here, but I feel like if they make some remark or something, it's more like passive aggressive. It's not like completely you know, out there, but it's just maybe a little jab here or there. I feel like whoever this is will shut it down. They just don't have any patience for it. And they're a very, this is a very integrous person. 
I do feel like this energy that comes through is more like a friend or somebody you work with than necessarily that love partner. Um, it feels work related to me or some kind of a business venture if it's a side thing for you. But either way, you're definitely protected here. So the six of wands, you are getting some attention. You have a passionate relationship here, by the way. And the six of wands, I feel like this person finds you charming. They find you funny. You move forward with ease in this kind of energy. So if there's been somebody that you've kind of had a crush on or your eye on for a while, um, I feel like it starts to move forward here. And so with this, it's a feeling of gains. It's ad attaining things too. So in terms of work and money, you're getting noticed and, and your creativity, your ideas, your communication are really at the forefront of it. So open up, be yourself, relax, be easy about it. You know, this is kind of an easy, confident energy. And the more you're in that energy field, the more it will um, attract, you know, situations that continue to support this kind of a feeling. It gets momentum. That's what I was trying to say. So the Queen of Wands, again, you got loyal people throughout this. So any little sort of nagging situation with that Seven of Swords is really minor. The Queen of Wands here is very competent also, very sexually charged energy. You have an, an uh, a synergy with somebody here. There's a very strong chemistry. It's a, like I said, it's a sexual attraction, but there's a, there's a love here too. So even if you're in a relationship, if it seems like, all of a sudden, it seems like the passion has just been reignited in it. It's this energy. But it's also, this is also about taking action. You have that several times. And you take action with a very confident way about you. So you have nothing to be concerned about in terms of maybe some little person who makes a comment here or there. Because I feel like people really admire you. And, and certainly if you're in any kind of a leadership position, they like you there. They see you as being very valuable there. And they feel safe. There's something about this, a very safe kind of energy. So we talked about this little idiot, the Seven of Swords shows up. It's just somebody who's a little insecure, okay? And so I feel like they just don't know who they are. And so with this, it part of it is being aware of it so that you can step around it. So there may be somebody that you don't necessarily want to definitely would not gossip in front of this person. I'm not encouraging gossip anyway, because that's not soul business, right? That's not from the soul. It's from the ego, even though we can all get caught up in it. And I mentioned before, I had many family members who are Gemini, but also some coworkers. And I, have, I have one that has gotten herself backed into a corner so many times by gossiping about people. So watch out for that. I feel like they're trying to warn you a little bit be careful. Know your audience. Okay, they say that. Know your audience. So the Ten of Cups is the happy family card, but it's such celebratory energy. I, I feel like in this next season, you're going to really feel loved. You're going to feel valued. And it brings this, but it's like this, like I said, it's a synergy where it feels like it's the right people all around you. So you all kind of just play off of each other in a way that is fun. So the, the Ten of Cups can also be subjective in terms of m material possession. So if there's some kind of a trip that you're wanting to plan, this is the kind of energy where you're so, it's, you know, you're happy that it, it happens. You get there, everything works, you know, you get, it's smooth. It's, there's no setbacks. There's no delays here. This also is the rainbow after a storm too. So if you've had some something that was restrictive. It's really not represented in this reading, but you've, if you've had it in the last few months, it is a it is an energy that moves you forward. It's a new cycle, which you have a few times here. So the Justice card um, shows up, and one of the significant parts of this, it's not just wisdom and balance, because it's those two. It's using your intellectual mind to make good decisions. It's using your discernment. So when I mentioned know your audience, this would help a great deal because this is not a card where you make mistakes. Your judgment is incredibly good here. So you'll know, you'll sense intuitively if there's somebody who maybe you don't want to be completely transparent in front of, um, then you won't. You'll know what to do. But also too with the upright sword, that always indicates success for you and a positive outcome. For some of you, you may put your foot down with somebody if they've been 
crossing some boundaries with you, but I feel like you do it in a way that's fun. It's funny. Like there's a humorous delivery to it. And so it's not like it really makes an awkward situation, but it gets the job done if you need to do that with somebody. But either way, it's justice is served too. It's the absolute truth. It's seeing your life in a lens of clarity and knowing what to do. So if there's, like I said before and earlier in the reading, if there's something that somebody is doing a lot of things like double crossing people or talking about them or whatever, you'll see the universe will will correct that. You know, they'll get a little course correction. The universe will give them what they are. So the Wheel of Fortune is very high vibrational energy and it's moving forward. It's a, It feels like luck, but it's like you have fortunate events unfolding around you. And so with the power of the Emperor in this, this is definitely bringing in money. Anything you're doing with work is going to be lucrative for you. And I can't remember if I've said this in this reading, but in the area where I live, businesses are struggling to even find people to work. And so I feel like anything you'll put out there, you will get tenfold back. It will be more money than you realize. Um, somebody too, I feel like you got a little bit of luck if you're into scratch off tickets and stuff. I'm not encouraging people to gamble, but I do see that for somebody if they're into that kind of thing already. Um, that there's going to be some money coming in from that. And it brings in fun, too. Uh, so let's see what the angels have to say here for Gemini. Beautiful reading, though. Very strong reading. Stable, but exciting, too. All right, you have here, ask for help from others. Well, with the emperor here, you definitely have good people all around you. We've talked about that. So there's there are people around you who are definitely protective of you. You have improving health here, and this can be spiritual health, all right? So if there's been, like I said, a previously restricted energy, you're moving forward away from it. The situation will improve. There's really no downside here. I feel like any minor little annoyances are so overpowered by the the trump of the tarot the major arcana here that it's kind of insignificant they do say within the next few months and you've got now you've got choose a new direction which i actually don't mind with the six of swords if there's some area of your life where you really you know what you want it can be that you're too specific about it about the how is it going to happen so we let the universe decide that you just know what you want and what why you want it and it'll come so good things are coming for you, Gemini. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.